Hey folks, today we're off to a large and luxurious a Roman villa built in 250 AD. Just off Cotswolds Way. The Cotswold Way is a long distance walking trail that runs between the market town of Chippen Camden in the north and the city of Bath in the south. The trail is 102 miles long and runs for most of its length on the Cotswold Escarpment. It passes through many picturesque villages and close to a significant number of historic sites. For example, the Roman heritage at Bath, the Neolithic burial chamber at Bellis Knapp, Sudley Castle near Winchcombe, Hales Abbey and also the Great Whitcomb Roman Villa. Great Whitcomb Roman Villa was one of the largest Roman houses in Britain and was part of a cluster of very wealthy villas in the Cotswolds area. A rich family lived here, together with their slaves and freed men, for around 200 years until the end of the Roman period in Britain. Their luxurious villa, discovered in 1818 by farm workers, included an exceptional mosaic depicting many sea creatures. The original plan of the main villa was a symmetrical U-shape, carefully terraced into the hillside. The west wing consisted almost entirely of two bathhouses, suites of baths to you and I, which were both in use at the same time. The east wing comprised kitchens and storerooms. A rectangular dining room projected from the north side of the central range, which was probably open on one side to provide covered walkway with a view down the hillside. Both wings had an upper floor where the family lived and there was probably an upper level above the walkway too. The villa's entrance may have been straight onto the upper story. In the 4th century a series of alterations was made. One of the bathhouses was enlarged and remodelled and the lower east wing was expanded to create a large barn-like space. Finally the rectangular dining room was replaced with an octagonal room which may have been a tower. The wealthy owners of Great Whitcomb may have been involved in politics and administration at the nearby Roman town of Glevum, now Gloucester. This was a common occupation for the rich and powerful of Roman Britain. Religious beliefs and practices in Roman Britain were very different from today. The room in front of you may have had a sacred function. In Roman times it would have been partially underground and accessed only by a ramp. 
It was covered in a beautiful wall plaster and the niches on the walls probably held sacred images. The cistern was fed by water from a spring above the villa. It drained down through an outlet pipe towards the latrine downslope. We do not know which gods or god were worshipped here. They may have been Roman gods like Fortuna or the British gods like Sulevai or the spirit of the spring. For the people who lived here, the world was full of gods that needed to be acknowledged through offerings and ritual practices. Well, that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the great Whitcomb Roman Villa. I certainly did. If you did, feel free to give it a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and ding that notification bell. All right, until next time. <laughs>